Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. So on the Solana chart, we continue to trend lower. Um, I'm not convinced if this C wave has really started. In this video, I would really like to show only the micro count here of the current micro structure, because looking at the bigger picture, nothing has changed. It's just a question now. Um, okay, are we are we already in the fourth wave or do we still get another extension in wave three higher? So as I said before, a break above the standard resistance here at $44.77 will shift probabilities towards wave three is extending, uh, but it will not make the wave four down impossible. And I will explain why. So first of all, this third wave can still extend higher as long as we're holding $38.30. Below that level, I have to assume wave four is already unfolding. Already now I'm tracking if wave four is on unfolding. Now let's talk a little bit about the microstructure here because um, we wanna do a bit of a deep dive here. First of all, let's go to the 30 minute chart and this move down was a three wave move, okay? So this move down was a three wave move in an ABC structure. So we have our A wave, we have a B wave and a C wave to the downside in wave A. So Elliott Wave tells us when we have in the first corrective wave um, three waves, then this whole thing could be, again, a flat structure with an A wave, a very high B wave would then actually be expected, and a C wave down, or it is a WXY. So that's what we're dealing with at the moment. Um, and that's why I say, even if we break above resistance, we might still want to consider a high B wave. Because the thing is, if this is a flat structure, then it's, the B wave is typically quite aggressive. Already in the last video, I highlighted to you that um, it could be that the B wave is still unfolding. So B waves don't really have a clear target. Um, what we can really only show is standard resistance for the wave B. And then we just have to understand that B waves can also overshoot. And until we have five waves to the upside, the B wave is not invalidated. Cryptos can produce very high B waves. So what I want to emphasize here is that we have to have it on our radar that this B wave might extend and that something like this forms A, B, C in wave B. And only then we come down, okay? I think, to be honest, that would be quite healthy for the chart if we see a B wave that is extending a bit because it will make this entire structure a little bit longer, yeah? If it's a correction that takes a bit of time, that's good as long as we're holding support and for this way for the ideal support area for me is around about $32 below $28.40 I would have to understand uh, or have to yeah understand this chart is more bearish for now I'm still watching for higher either more directly but then I need to see a break above resistance and follow through or from down here from the orange orange support area um, I think a, a way for pullback is basically due but only the market will decide if the time is already there for the deep wave four pullback or if we spend a little bit of time in the wave three before we start that wave four pullback. I just want to make you, make you aware about um, this correction. Be aware that micro counting in corrections is never very reliable. Can easily, um, these patterns can easily morph and, and you know, change their, their shape. What you also need to understand is that a wave four can unfold as a triangle. Now we don't have enough waves in place for a triangle, but I can tell you we have three waves down. If we see three waves up here and then three waves down, then this could be the first three waves of a triangle, but it's way too early to confirm that. I'm just highlighting here that this could take a little while. Um, we have three waves down so far. Let's see what happens here. If we are now turning to the upside in wave C of B, and this is just one way how it could unfold. I think a likely one, given that um, the A wave down was in three waves, right? Um, but if, if we turn higher in wave C of B, this would be the ideal spot. Because if I'm drawing the FIP levels, you can see that this has now turned up at the golden ratio at $39.80. Um, however, if we go to the, or oh, we already at the 30 minute chart, you see that this move, yeah, this reaction to that golden ratio level is just corrective. So I think the immediate focus can remain on lower still in wave B. 
You might even want to have a trend line here possibly, but it's not very well defined. Um, but I think the immediate focus can still be on lower at the moment. But when we see a rally, it is likely wave C of B. Alternatively, a break below $38.30, a sustained break will confirm that we're already coming down here more directly towards, and that is what I would prefer, round about the $32 level within the orange support box. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.